Lionel and Uncle Lionel and I met, yeah, by pure chance. We just happened to hang out at the same place, right? So back in the day, there was a place in Melville called, uh, what was it called? It was a coffee shop. It's called Spiros. And, uh, and he used to come there, like hang out. And we sort of started hanging out there, you know, like, and I would see him and he would see me. And most of the things he would say to me was, Eric, shut up. Just be quiet, Eric. <laughs> so that's how we met, yeah, 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 yeah on the street. Did you know what was that? At the time, I didn't, you know, it was just a cool uh, old man, you know, with his MG, uh, MG, you know, car, like a maroon MG, I used to love that. I actually took a, a photograph of him with that car, I have to find it. Um, I might have uh, even given it to you, I can't remember now. but. Um, and he had this MG Rover, he was this cool old man, you know? And then slowly we got to know, oh, Uncle Lionel, first guy to direct a movie, and then, you know, uh, and then we, yeah, I got to know a, a bit more about him. Uh, but not at first, because he was not a fleshy guy. He wasn't busy talking about himself. He was actually quite quiet, uh, from my recollection of him. Once you engage, of course, he'll talk with you, but, but he was a quiet, Gentlemen, I remember him being very gentlemanly and very quiet.